controversial. <laughs> what it takes to make 72 complicated toys and a sundry line. I know. Tomorrow we roll. Joyce, you... you, you. sandwiches the kids ate while they were building the Empire State Building and piled them up, the sandwiches would be higher. And if Robbie got all the kids together to build the Empire State Building, where do you think they would build it? On my back. The Golden Age of Television presents Jack Carson in How's Business? with Gene Gillespie, Flip Mark, and John Daner after these messages. Got an Amana washer and dryer. Hey, Miss King, you've seen robots before. Primitive little toys powered by a battery. Well, Miss King, Ajax has removed the battery. Solar power is the motivating force here. Light, pure light, does the work. It stops, sweetie. Exactly. Now. This is an ordinary flashlight. It can be purchased at any drug or hardware store. Canned solar power. Now you see, light instead of batteries. Miss King, how many times have you had complaints that batteries have worn out? Candy man. Yes. Don't you need batteries for the flashlight? Well, uh, uh... No, dear, I want a simple toy. Simple? Miss King, simplicity is the keynote of the Ajax line. Let me show you one of our simple toys. Now, That's interesting. What is it? I don't know. I never saw it before in my life. Dear Dad, I was asleep last night when you came home and you were sleeping when I went to school. This is a nothing box. It's made by the orphans at the Breckenridge home. They want to sell it to get a new gymnasium. I told them you were the best salesman in the world and I put it in your sample case so you could sell it for us. Oh, that kid. Best salesman in the world. It's doing something. Oh, that's wonderful. Love is cute. It's going to do something else. Sweetie, it moves me. Well, Mr. Breckenridge, I read you the note. I have nothing to do with this Angel, thing. Angel, I want it. But I can't sell it to you. If it was made by Ajax... I'll take six dozen of them. Miss King, don't put me in a spot like this. No. I can't sell it to you. I can't. Why? Why couldn't you sell it to her dead? Why? Robbie, I'm on the telephone. Yeah, that, that's right. New York. Person to person collect. Frank Keller. But, Dad... Robbie, I told you, it's not ethical for me to sell somebody else's toys. I explained to you it's for the orphans and they need to build the gymnasium. K-E-L-L-E-R. Well, they're just children and they need the exercise. Well, if they need the exercise that badly, let them run around all day from one buyer to another the way I do. Now, uh, Frank... Frank Augie Adams. Listen, I'm having a little trouble with that solar-powered robot. Well, the whole sales pitch is you don't need any batteries. Yeah. You need batteries for the flashlight, don't you? I should be ready in a minute. I don't want any lunch. What's the matter, Robbie? I think I'll go to my room. Frank, there's a new trend. They're tired of electronic marvels. They want something simple. What did you say to Robbie? Huh? He went off to his room without his lunch. What did you say to him? Oh, for crying out loud. What am I going to get these nice, simple things? No, look, I gotta go back and see her tomorrow. Can't you ship them out here, Air Express? I want you to straighten it out. He feels very badly. Joyce, can you see him on the telephone? Augie, he's nine years old, and he's in his room by himself, and he's crying. <laughs> I used to cry by myself when I was three. Frank, what I was saying, 
If you can ship out here Air Express, maybe I can pull an order out of this situation. Tomorrow more... Is he really crying? He... Frank, a minute, will you? I got a small crisis going here. Robbie, I didn't want to make you cry. I never cry. Listen, Robbie, listen. You don't understand. You think that's all there is to selling is selling? That's only the beginning. Then you have to deliver what you sold. Do you know what a buyer does to you if you take an order and you don't deliver? He tears you into big pieces. Not if you're a little kid. No. Little kids, he tears into little pieces. Little kids can do more than you think. Look at the way they run the town on Boys Day. Yeah, and look at all the juvenile delinquents. <laughs> Robbie, look, I'm on the telephone. Long distance collect now. No more crying, huh? I never cried. I know that. There. There. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Frank. My, my son was crying in the bedroom. <laughs> well, he was being polite, that's all. He, he didn't want to cry in the living room while I was talking on the telephone. <laughs> I'm listening, yeah. Well, yeah. I believe in free enterprise, even if you don't. I believe in free enterprise. Rob, Frank, I'll tell you what. You better come out here and get the feel of this market firsthand. When? Well, uh, how about two weeks from Saturday? Is this a simple toy? You pull a string, the duck follows. I huh? think it's a very simple toy. You think it's easy to find a simpler toy than this? No, that wouldn't be simple at all. Now, I got a plastic move bottle. No moving parts. Now, what happens is this. The kid puts things in. Oh, there. How you doing? Turn it upside down. Things fall out. Huh? Simple? Claiming to success over my broken body. You know I lost an order from the Lewis department store today because of your son? Now, isn't that nice? Nice? Your son took an order away from the best salesman in the world. Joyce, your son and those half-baked orphan friends of his have accepted an order to deliver six dozen of those things. Now, six dozen is 72. Do you realize what it takes to make 72 complicated toys? An assembly line. I know. Tomorrow we roll. Joyce, you... you... All right, fellas. We've got a lot of work to do, and not much time to do it. Let's roll! Listen, wake up. Trace, the house is full of midgets. I know. Well, listen, get them out of here. They're not really midgets, dear. They're orphans. Listen, you've got to get them out of here. Oh, no, I won't. You made fun of him, and you said he couldn't do it, and he has a right to try. Oh, dear, it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. Please let me sleep. The Golden Age of Television will continue in a moment. The Golden Age of Television.
Mr. Adams? Morning. What are you doing? What are you doing in my bedroom? Just what we do every morning, busting clocks. Busting clocks? To get the gears for the nothing box gizzards. Look, this is the United States of America. Labor's sweated and slaved and broken us back for over 100 years. They get the five-day week. You know what day this is? Saturday? That's right, Saturday. You know what people in this country do on Saturday mornings? They sleep. We have to keep up with the orders, Mr. Adams. Why? Because the buyers tear you to pieces if you don't deliver. <laughs> Be sure to give some to everybody. I will. Good morning, darling. Yeah. Would you like a peanut butter sandwich with your coffee? Mm -hmm. Adams? Follow me, please. You. Good morning. Good morning. Keller's in the living room. Oh, oh, Frank, I just it. What is this? Oh, that's Seymour. He don't talk. Aha! How's business? Well, Frank, you probably won't believe this. But I want to talk to you, Augie. Alone. I didn't think he would. story well from the beginning you finished telling him what's his boss saying nothing he's got to say something there's just this awful silence hey maybe he killed him not yet i don't think out of your whole confused and rambling account, one thing is clear to me. Ajax toy needs the nothing box. Ajax toy is going to get it. Well, Christmas is coming all over America. Millions of American families want the nothing box to put into the tree, right? Right. Are uh, there going to be enough nothing boxes to go around if you leave production in the hands of little kids? Is that a situation that an ethical toy company needs to stand around and watch complacently? Ajax has an obligation to the toy buying public. Do you think for one moment we're going to fail them? Right. Right. I mean, I don't think for one moment that we're going to fail them. Right. This Christmas, the public's going to be able to buy all the nothing boxes at once. Now, take us 30 days to roll production. Salesmen can be selling in 10 days. That means we have time enough to sell about $1.98 a unit, 32% gross, four and a half net. Overhead comes down in the second 100,000. We're probably clear about a quarter of a million. Well, I don't like it. I agree. A quarter of a million on an item like this should be more like half a million, but we don't have the time. I'm talking about those little kids. What little kids? The little kids that invented this thing. That's us. You're right. I'll give them 5,000. I'll buy them out. When we stand to make a quarter of a million? All right, I'll give them 6,000. And I'm only doing this out of the goodness of my heart because I guarantee you there's no bunch of little kids ever lived thought to take out a patent. Mr. Frank, most of those little kids are orphans. They haven't got any mothers or fathers. They depend on the kindness of strangers. And I'm one stranger who's not going to take advantage of them. Do you 
think I'm going to let a whole bunch of little kids grip the toy buying public of America in a cold, clammy fist of monopoly? There wouldn't be any another box if these kids didn't come up with it. Balboa came up with the Pacific Ocean. Did we let him keep it? No, we took it because the Pacific Ocean is bigger than Balboa. The Pacific Ocean belonged to the whole world, right? Right. And a nothing box. A wonderful toy like the nothing box. A toy that makes little children's eyes light up. A toy that makes little kids laugh. Now, who does that belong to? The whole world, right? Right. And anyone who tries to take it for his own selfish self has got a fight on his hands. Right? Right. War. I mean it. War. Machine guns. Ah, cannons. Boom. War. That's what I'm doing. I'm fighting a war to keep the nothing box out of selfish hands. And I don't think it's ethical. Ethical? You keep your car in the street because your garage is full of orphans, your wife keeps feeding you peanut butter sandwiches, and there's a bicycle wheel in your bathtub and you talk ethics to me. I'm giving you 48 hours to come to your senses, Augie. Monday morning, you're going to start selling nothing boxes for Ajax toy or you start looking for another job. Joyce, I'm sorry. That's the way it is. War is hell. It isn't that thing. Dad, don't worry. He can buy the production rights. We'll be glad to sell out to him. But it just isn't nice. We don't want you to lose your job. Look, if I go back and sell nothing boxes for Ajax Toy, you get cheated. If I don't, I get fired, right? Right. This is war, right? Right. Right, this is war. Joyce, pack me a bag. Find my credit cards. The rest of you, what are you standing around for? Let's get that assembly line rolling. Let's keep it rolling. Come on, let's roll. Doggy, what are you going to do? Famous French marshal once said, my left flank is destroyed, my right flank is thrown to pieces, my center is demolished. I attack. <laughs> Tell a man you want him in Monday morning to sell nothing boxes. That's where you want him. In. Not out. Out of sight. Out of town. And I'm going out of my mind. I'm sure he's all right. Frank. I'm not worried he's all right. I'm sure we'll all hear from him when he's ready. Frank, I want to talk to you. Alone. Now, you listen to me. Now, you listen to me. You gave me an ultimatum, Frank, right? Right. You told me to go out and sell nothing boxes for Ajax toy, right? Right. Nah. Right. There. There. Do you have in your hands orders for Ajax toy to deliver 1,043 dozen nothing boxes, right? Right. In the next 10 days. 10 days. 10 days? Augie, I told you I can't get rolling for a month. War as hell, huh, Frank? Don't worry about the enemy. That's his lookout, right? Right! Uh, how am I going to deliver? You use machine guns, Frank, remember? <laughs> Bombs. How's that for a bomb? A time bomb. Now, Frank, here's the deal. These kids will subcontract enough nothing boxes to hold these buyers until we can get our own lines going. After that, they'll take a 5% royalty in every box made, and that is the deal. Augie, you're holding me up. Ah! Frank. You know what a buyer does to you when you don't deliver? No, he tears you to pieces. He... Ah, that's right. Frank, think it over for a while. War is hell, huh? Right? Right. Right. <laughs> practically a millionaire. What are you going to do, start a new business? No, nope, I think I'll retire. You're right, you're going to retire in more ways than one. It's 8.15. Well, okay. Night, Mom. Good night, Rosie. Uh, one more for the road. Oh. One thing, Dad. When you get old, you won't have to worry about anything because I'll have enough money in the bank to take care of you and Mom. That's the deal, partner. Good night, Dad.
Good night, Tycoon. Well, our future's taken care of anyway. How are you gonna like living in a big house owned by your son? What are you worried about? You can cook, I can drive. <laughs> Do you think he'd mind if the help get a little friendly with each other? No. Oh. Like this? Oh, come on. Out! 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 <laughs> This is the way to help get friendly in my son's house. 